It's like anything else, but I don't have a paycheck. I can't, I can't feed them, so I got to do something. Joseph Mustard has a wife and three kids. Like many others in the construction industry, the subcontractor from Interlochen is worried about his job security. Ford has projected deficit of $3.75 billion most likely will stop construction on new buildings at the University of Florida and universities around the state. That's not good news for the $29 million worth of projects awaiting grants at UF and its construction workers. I agree with, uh, with Governor Rich Scott that, yeah, things need to change and, and stuff's got to be cut. I mean, we don't have the money, but it is rather scary, you know, because we do a lot of our work for, all, for the University of Florida. So if budgets get cut, yeah, my job could be affected. And who knows when the economy could turn around? UF has lost $150 million from the state for new projects, and that number doesn't sit well with the university. It's what pays for us to operate on a day-to-day -day basis to turn the lights on and to, um, you know, fix roofs, uh, to, to repaint buildings. So what's the big deal, you ask? Well, buildings like Newell Hall, built in 1909, have old systems, which means it costs more to maintain and it's less energy efficient. And it won't be getting any better for a while. State lawmakers say it could be at least five years until the state has money to start new projects. I'm Michael Espy, WUFT News.